Just like always, you want to make sure you have your clip and then you want to create yourself a new video track. Once you've got yourself a new video track, you want to go into the video effects and then you want to scroll down to one that will say motion tracker. And you need to make sure that you left click and then drag this into your video. Now you'll get this message right here that will say you can't do it from here and that is fine. So you can just close this one down, go to the start of your video and then go to the one that will say media generators. You want to go all the way to the bottom to titles and text and get yourself the default one. We're going to start off with the text first. So you want to type in your text and then we could close this one down, drag this all the way to the end. And then you also want to go back to the video effects. Once you're in here, you want to go a little bit further down to picture in picture. You need this in order to be able to make the text follow the person, which is what we're trying to do. So drag yourself the default one. And then this is when you can set yourself the location. So let's say we want it to start right here, right above the person. We can close this one down. And what you need to do is you need to, first of all, make sure that you are selecting your main layer, which is your video. And then you want to go to the start of it. So start off at zero. To start motion tracking, you go on these lines right here, and then you go on motion tracking. Now, an important thing to know is you need to make sure that you are selecting this one right here. Otherwise, if you select a different layer, it will pop up right here and it will get confused to what you are trying to do. So just make sure you're selecting this one and you're at the start of it. If you don't have a mask straight away or region, don't worry about it. You can go ahead and press this button right here, which will add a region. And then once you've got yourself a region, you just want to set an area where you want it to track. So we're going to use the head as a tracking location. Next up, you'll have the precision. So if you wanted to, you can either on fast, balanced or accurate. I'd recommend accurate. And then finally for the mode, I would definitely recommend location. And then we're going to click this one right here, show motion vectors. And then finally, you have the buttons at the bottom. So if you wanted to, you can track backwards, you could track both directions, or you could track forward. If your cursor point is halfway through the video and you want to track the other half of the video, then you would track forwards. Or if you want at the beginning, you would track backwards or just press the both directions to track all of your clip. We're gonna click this one right here since we're at the start of it and then this will start to plot all the points down. So now that it is done, we can preview this by keeping this open and then just looking through the video and seeing if it has tracked. And it's done a pretty decent job, except from some areas where it has gone offset, but that will be fine for the time being because we only want the text. So now all you gotta do is you go to this button right here, the down arrow, and then this will motion track transfer over to your text. So you should see your text right here, and then you select this one right here, Vegas, and then picture in picture, and then click on this one. What this will do is it'll copy all the keyframes over to your text layer. And if we close this one down and have a look at the video, you will see that the text is following our player or the person. Now that we've got our text tracked, you can now get yourself two more video tracks. So this will be the picture and the video as an example. First things first is we're gonna get ourselves the picture and then drag this into the timeline and drag it all the way to the end. Just like always, you want to also get yourself the picture in picture for this one too. So you just want to left click and then drag this into your picture. And then we're gonna scale this down to make it right about there. And then we're going to move it right here. So that is the picture. And then finally, we're gonna get ourselves the video, which is this one right here, and then drag it into the timeline. Now, since the audio, we don't really need it. We can click on the audio layer and then press U and then press delete. You want to right click on your video, go down to properties and then disable resample. Now, since we only need up to here, we can then go ahead and press S to split it up and then delete the other half. Now I have a green screen right here and all I gotta do if you want to remove the green screen is you go up to the one that will say chroma key and then you drag yourself the default one. You go over to the color, you click on the eyedropper and then select yourself the green. And then you could close this one down. Same as the one before, you wanna get yourself the picture in picture for this one too, for the video. Drag this into your video. Scale it down and position it where you want it to go. 
So for example, I'm going to have it right about here. Could close this one down. And now all you're gonna do is select your main video, go back to the motion tracking, and then this is the easy part. All you gotta do is click on these arrows right here and you'll notice now you have your picture and you've got your video as well. So you want to copy it over to your image and you want to copy it over to your video as well. And that's pretty much it. 